Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Christian and in this video we're going to talk about the new design for Power Apps Mobile Apps. Now there is a new design that's already available. It's in preview but it's going to come out soon and I want to show a side-by-side -side comparison on the existing design and this new design and all the new features that come up with it. And I'll actually show it to you directly on the mobile app over there. But first, here's my intro video. So this entire video of mine is going to be focused completely on the Power Apps mobile apps. And as a full disclosure, I use an iPhone XR. So my device and the look and feel is all about an iPhone or with iOS over here. Um, and in your case, if you're an Android unit users, things might be a little bit different, but the overall app functionality and the look and the feel should be the same. So let's go and start. The first thing I want to talk about is the design locations. And when I say about design locations, just the way all the menus and basically the, all these settings over here, the top settings, that is the overall design effect that I want to show. And you know, you can see over here that in this current design, you can see that how there is a hamburger menu over here, there is a drop down for my apps, there is a recycle or a refresh, and then there's another filter, and then there's a search. So this is how it looks right now in the current design. And if I were to go ahead and now click on the um, the hamburger menu over here, I see this little option called new design preview. And for some of you, that might be the default already. So you're already seeing these new effects that I'm talking about, but I'll still go and do a side-by-side -side comparison. So now if I go and click on that, you will immediately see that there's a new effect. And now you notice the change over here. Before, everything was on the top, but now it has kind of spread out a little bit in places over here. So but, but now there is the search functionality. I mean, there's the top menu over here. So if I click on myself over there, that settings already comes up. But right below that now, there is a search functionality. And then, so that's like on the header set. On the footer set, there's a home, there's an all apps, and then there's the all option for ellipses with just the more. So just as an overall design has changed. And I also, you know, we'll talk more and more about each of these things, but kind of that's the first thing that caught my attention is that, hey, this looks a little different. It looks kind of like a fresh new look, if I may. But I, I really like this effect. And just as a quick side by side, if I go back again to take a look at the uh, the old design, see everything from the bottom disappeared, and it's all on the top over here. So kind of that was the overall design location in this current design. It's all on the top. But when you go to the new design, it's kind of spread out over there. There's the top navigation. There's a full long search over here, and then it goes ahead and has a footer menu over there. So that's the first thing is the design location. Next is the icon shapes over there. And if you already caught it, there's a completely new look and feel of the icons. And so check this out. In this current look, all these icons for the apps, specifically the icons for the apps, they have a very rough uh, or a sharp edge over there. It's basically a sharp square. But if I went ahead and switched over now to my new design look, you see how it changed? It went ahead and made these curved looks over there, much more modern new look and feel over there. But that, that was the first thing I also noticed is that it had that, you know, uh, shape difference over there, which was the curved edges versus the sharp edges over there, right? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at how the next thing is the refresh functionality, because I noticed a few changes over there in the refresh. So let's go back again to the old um, design over there, and I'm going to go back to it. And here's what we're comfortable with, is the, is the, uh, is the uh, refresh section. So for the refresh, I'm not talking about the refreshing of the app, but I'm talking about the overall refresh of not each of the apps, but the overall refresh of the power, the power apps itself. And it all comes up to this place over here, right? So there's actually two right now in the current design, which I found very interesting. Uh, if I were to go ahead and just click on this one, then it does a refresh, right? It's doing that refresh. And that's basically if any changes done to the app or if a new app is there, then it goes ahead and does that refresh. Also, I can go ahead and just do a drag. So I just basically go and pull this down and it does that refresh as well. So watch this. If I go and pull this down, that refresh also happens. So there's a refresh happening in both the areas over here. These are both locations. But that kind of changes on the new one. So let's go check that out. If I go over here now, click on that hamburger menu. If I go to the new design and if I go over here, now you notice that that original refresh icon, which was the curl over there, has gone. But it still has the original functionality that if I were to go ahead and click over here and drag it down, that refresh is there. So the overall functionality is still the same. And I almost kind of like it because in the, uh, in the in the current design, that refresh was just like an added icon over there, which was helping because the people were not, you know, savvy enough to drag it down. They would see that over there say, hey, you know, there is a rated refresh that I'm going to click on this. But now as more and power apps has more and more evolved, it's been out there for over four years now, people are kind of getting understanding that, hey, 
if I want to refresh it, I just got to go and drag it down because that's just the way it works. So that was the third one, which was the refresh thing. Now let's take a look at the sorting of it. When I talk about sorting is how the apps are actually sorted out. So the sorting actually has a bit of a difference over there. It's in fact in a, a significant difference. So this by sorting, I mean over here, this functionality, that's the sorting. So if I go and click it right now in this design, if I go over there, you see that there are three options. You can sort by the name of the app, the modified date and the open date. So kind of keep that in mind that there are three sorting options available. But if I go back and click on that hamburger menu and if I switch over now to the new design, things have changed a little bit. First thing you notice is that, hey, I don't even see that sorting option. So where do I go and click on that? To see that, you actually have to go, even if you, you know, it's not over here on the see all, because if I go to the see all, I don't see it. What you have to do is click on this all apps over here. So I'm going to click on the all apps and now I see the sort functionality. But don't just stop over there because here, check this out. If I click on it, there's only two options over here. Remember on the other one, there was the, um, there was the name modified and open date. But over here, it's only name and, mo and the modified date. So there's only two options over there. And it kind of helps, at least to me, because at the end of the day, that's all I need. Name of the app and when it worked, and which was the most updated app over there. So now let's go to the fifth one, which was the grouping. And that's a whole bunch of differences over there. So let's go back now and take a look at the original design or the, or the current design. So when I talk about grouping, I'm talking about this functionality over there because it groups all the apps into that different menus. And there's actually a bunch of them. So if you already know that my, app, I mean, if I click over here, it has, you know, one, two, three, four, five. It has five different options. And always by default, it is my apps, the apps that were made by me. That is always the default that is selected over there. And that kind of, it's very helpful because now I can go over here and I can go and select on all apps. I can go ahead and select on uh, favorites. I can go and select on featured apps. And as you know, in the favorite ones, it actually has that little asterisk over there. So that's the one for the favorite ones. And by the way, favorite ones are the ones that the user selects. The featured one is something that is done by the administrator. It'll be a PowerShell scripts and I'll save that for another video, but just not give me an, a, a little, um, you know, side information that favorite and featured are kind of different over there. All right. But again, come back to the point over this video is that these were the five options, all apps, my apps, sample apps, featured apps. It is all isolated over there in that grouping, which is basically in that drop down menu over here. Now let's go switch around to the new functionality. If I come over here now, click on the hamburger menu, oh, come on, and I go to the new design, well, things changed a little bit. First of all, as you can see, that the hamburger menu is not there. It has disappeared and now it's kind of spread out over there. But let's go take a look at it. First of all, when it comes to the, in the home menu, there's already two sections of available. Right over here, you can see the favorites. So I don't have to go and click on drop down to find the favorites. Your favorites, your favorites will always be up over there. Now, the featured ones, I'll get to that in a minute, but your, your favorite is right over there. Then the second one is the recent apps that you've been selecting. And by default, it always tends to only show the first five of them or the first six of them. Um, I've always seen the first five, could be because of the phone size, but I think it's always the first five over there. Um, and then that's always the recent apps that shows over here. And if I go and click on see all, Again, it only shows all the recent apps in that you know descending order as far as the date stamp goes over there. So that's the first step of the grouping, which is all on the home page. You have your favorite, and you have all the recent apps. But then, where are the other ones? The all apps and the featured app and the sample. Well, the all apps is right over here. All right. So now I go to the all apps, and that, again, remember how I showed that the sorting was over there? But this is the all apps functionality now. So you've already got the three of them. Next is the featured apps and the sample apps. So in this case, to find those two, I go over here to more I click on more. And now I can see the featured apps and I can see the sample apps. So the featured app in my case was actually the mobile app design. It's an app that I featured. Again, remember I did that as the, as the IZ administrator. So that's the featured app over there. And to find that again, you got to come over here to your all apps. You got to click or basically you go to the, uh, um, the ellipses over there and you find the uh, featured apps. And the same thing has for sample apps as well over here. There is another option. You click on the ellipses, which is on the bottom right, which is right here. You click on it and then you're able to go ahead and find those two options. So just as a quick comparison, now, if I were to go back in and go and take a look at the old design over here, everything is under all apps, my all apps and all the functionalities and the drop down. But in the new design, it's kind of spread out. 
but it are the main features that you need the specific ones like the favorites and your top most on, on your uh, recent apps over there they're always there on the home home page over this it kind of makes it a little bit easier and everything else is just in, the, in a different place and location all right so let's talk about item number six which is the details so i'm going to come over here and not look at details if i click on the ellipses over here because i'm going to pick on that app and i'm clicking on the ellipses over there i select it and here I see the option for details. It's basically got an eye and a circle around it. That's what it looks like, is the details. So I click on details, and this is what the details gives to me. And remember, there's a lot of information over here. But also keep in mind the design. Again, the icon design has changed. There's curves over here, but keep an eye on this design, and I'll kind of keep that side by side. So you can see how the open, the edit shortcut, the favorites, see these designs over here? And the, all the other things as well, their designs change a little bit. And again, the icon over here for SharePoint also changes a little bit. But overall, the design over here, keep an eye on that, right? So now when I go now to the modern look, I call it modern look, but it's a new design. Immediately, something new happened. Um, I don't have that ellipses option like I had before. Over here, I just have an icon. And that icon is the details one, which is slick. Because now if I click over there, I immediately go to the details place. It's a one-step process. In the, um, the original design, it's a two-step process. I had to click on the ellipses. Then I'd go to delete, uh, details to find it. Over here, it's directly there. And if you notice that the um, icons have changed a little bit, I mean, there are much more curved shape icons and the icons itself have changed. So overall level of the look and feel has changed right down at the detail level. So as I show you a side-by-side -side comparison, this is basically what it looks like. Is that here is the details from the new look and here is the details from the existing look over there. All right, so last, I wanna talk about the shortcuts. So again, let's go back now to the original design and I want to look at the shortcuts. So how do I do the shortcuts? First of all, there is no way for me to click over here and drag to the right or click over here and drag to the left. See, I'm, I'm trying it, I'm clicking on it. You can see that I've clicked on it, but I can't drag to the right or I can't slide basically to the right or left, right? To do these shortcuts, I have to go ahead and let me pick something I've not done before. Um, I'm gonna click on this one over here. I'll go ahead and click on its ellipses. And when I click on the ellipses, here's the option, add shortcut to Siri. And that's what it looks like. Now when I go and click on it, this pops up and all the steps are all over there, okay? In the new design, when I go ahead and click on that, here's what happens. First of all, the whole look and feel has changed, which we know, but now it's become much more easier. So check this out, all right? I'm clicking on, say this one over, the business cards one over here, and I'm gonna slide to the right. And if I slide to the right, there's the shortcut. And also if you notice, there was a little name change. This just says shortcut. The other one said add shortcut to Siri. This one just says shortcut, but if I click on it, the process still is the same, so that hasn't changed. But the look, feel, has, and the design has changed. But the other thing was, if I now click on it and slide to the left, I can go and add the favorite right here, which makes it so much more easier than what it was before. Again, in the before, I had the ellipses, I gotta click on it, then go to the second step to go and find the favorite. Right now, it's right over here, so when I click on it, and now I've gone ahead and made that as a favorite, boom, it shows up on the top favorites over there, and now I've added over there. It makes it so much more easier. So these were the seven new changes that I found, which was really helpful, um, especially from the current design to the new design. Like I mentioned, some of you may already have the new design turned on by default, so you're already experiencing it, but I just thought I'll go ahead and make this video to actually show these at least these seven different ones because they are significantly different. Besides the look and the feel, some of them are significantly different, especially that grouping one, right? The grouping one completely changed. In the existing one was menu, but right now it's broken down, in the new design is broken down into these you know, two of the different sections. So I personally like it. I give the mobile apps design team a big thumbs up. And to everybody else, as always, keep power apping. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Remember, this is all free with fresh content that is updated on a weekly basis. So if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you and spread the word. If you haven't already, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.